something fantastic has simply happened. For the first time in modern astronomy, the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered a group of cosmic events so bizarre, so interconnected, that scientists across the world are rethinking everything we thought we knew about the origins of life and the nature of the universe itself. In a single month, the telescope captured crystalline water ice forming around a young star, carbon-rich disks swirling around newborn planets, and even chemical signatures that seemed to defy the laws of physics. But that wasn't what stopped the world. It was what Webb discovered next in the darkness between stars, within the atmospheres of alien worlds, and in the very building blocks of what we call life. From frozen oceans on distant planets to chemical trails that mirror life itself, the universe just sent us a message. And this time, we finally understood it. It all began with a young sun-like star, HD 1327, just 155 light-years away. Using its near-infrared camera, Webb peered into a dusty ring of debris swirling around this infant star the kind of region where planets are born. What it found was stunning. More than 20% of the disk's mass is made of crystalline water ice bound together with dust grains, forming what scientists now call dirty snowballs. These are the seeds of oceans, the very material that once bombarded early Earth and gave rise to life. But here's the catch. This system is only 23 million years old, still in cosmic infancy. The water is already there, waiting before planets even form. For decades, astronomers believed water arrived late in a planet's history. Webb just proved the opposite, that water exists from the beginning, shaping the birth of worlds long before they can ever host life. In that frozen halo of light, the telescope may have witnessed the first chapter of creation itself. While the star HD 1327 unveiled the birth of water, another discovery came from a far stranger world, a young gas giant named C.T. Chabi, orbiting an obscure sun 620 light years away. Webb's mid-infrared instruments detected something never seen before, a planet with its own debris disk, a swirling ring of carbon-rich dust encircling the planet itself. This wasn't a ring system like Saturn's, but an entire miniature version of a solar system forming around a planet, not a star. The chemistry inside was completely alien. Unlike the icy composition found in stellar disks, C.T. Chabi's environment was dominated by carbon compounds, complex, reactive molecules that form the backbone of life. It suggested that carbon-based chemistry might begin in places scientists never imagined possible. The discovery shattered old models of planetary formation, forcing researchers to accept a stunning idea planets might not form solely from starlight but from darkness. But Webb wasn't done. Pointing its golden mirrors toward a dim brown dwarf named Wolf 1130C, the telescope detected something that left scientists speechless vast amounts of phosphine gas. On Earth, phosphine is produced almost exclusively by microbial life or human industry. Its presence near a failed star, a body too small to ignite nuclear fusion, defied every natural explanation. How could a world without energy or sunlight generate a gas so intimately tied to biology? Some suggested unusual chemical reactions deep inside metal-rich clouds. Others whispered about something stranger that phosphine might be the chemical footprint of processes we don't yet understand. To the scientific community, it was deja vu they'd seen this before on Venus, another phosphine signal dismissed as a glitch. But this time, the evidence was plain, somewhere between a planet and a star, in the cold twilight of Wolf 1130C, the signature of life or something very much like it was burning. Then Webb turned its gaze deeper, not toward nearby stars, but toward the dawn of time itself. There, in the faintest corners of the early universe, it observed something no one expected, dozens of red points of light scattered among primordial galaxies. At first, they were thought to be distant stars. Then came the shock. Their luminosity was too high. Their energy to concentrated. They weren't stars, and they weren't galaxies. Webb's spectrometers revealed what no telescope had ever seen before objects that are both stars and black holes at the same time. 
Scientists call them black hole stars hybrids formed in the chaos of the universe's birth. Small black holes devouring matter so fast that they glow brighter than entire galaxies cloaked in a luminous shell of energy that mimics a star's surface. For the first time, humanity was witnessing the monsters that built the cosmos the ancestors of every galaxy we see today. The finding wasn't just historic, it was existential. If these hybrids truly existed, then the universe began not with order but with hunger. While the James Webb Telescope was busy capturing the birth of galaxies, it also turned its golden eyes toward something much closer Saturn and Uranus, the sleeping giants of our own solar system. For decades, we believed we understood them, frozen worlds wrapped in storms, predictable, unchanging. But Webb's infrared vision revealed that their atmospheres are alive breathing, moving, pulsing with energy. On Saturn, Webb detected massive plumes of methane rising and falling in rhythmic waves as if the planet itself were inhaling. The shock came when scientists compared those fluctuations to solar data. The pattern matched perfectly with the sun's rotational pulse as though Saturn were somehow synchronized with the heartbeat of our star. On Uranus, things were even stranger. Webb captured a massive vortex near the North Pole so large it could swallow Earth whole. Yet inside it, temperatures spiked two levels no model could explain. 